So this is Escape from the Depths by Ing. The Christmas Jam map was unique. I think it was a little misunderstood by me. Uh, so I'm... Jump up into the water, and then... Oh, no, this map is huge too! So, you see, for me, dying is part of the fun. I really enjoyed uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls for that reason. It's okay to die sometimes. I don't know what I just hit, but there's more. I can get these assholes to shoot these guys. That button was completely in the dark. Ing makes a lot of unorthodox choices, and I think they're intentionally made. Like, you see, the button was kind of plain. No way of really knowing his button, it looks just like a brush. They had, like, a light, maybe done something with that light texture to, like, illustrate. Oh, see, like, I just rubbed up against this wall and I hit them. I wonder if that's a secret. Hey, okay. I guess it's okay because it's a secret area. Well. Not doing too good. Didn't like those games? Yeah, they're not for everybody. It's interesting that you say that. I don't think... I think it's pretty hard to get a map like that done right, where by design you're expected to fail. It's pretty hard to make those not frustrating. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess when you talk about puzzles, that does change the dynamic. Speaking of puzzles, I pressed this button. I wonder what. Oh, much needed secret. That's an easy secret to miss, even after you open it. Map is neat indeed. If 
only the uh get out of here it's more clear. Maybe I'm not supposed to get out of here. Totally understand using the darkness to cover up uh, maybe the reefs of textures or something, given the limitation. But this is pitch black. What am I supposed to do here? If I fall, will I die? Yep. See, if that's gonna happen, I would say at least illuminate the walkway you want the player to across. Kind of just guesstimated. So what happens if I go this way? Oh yeah? Oh, you're telling me you're not going to hide one of your nine secrets in there? No. A sunken rock. That's an unmarked secret? Come on. got to give me something here. Take what I can get. secret but that wasn't a secret come on oops Not a big deal. Maybe this area could have been a little bit more closed in. Just me nitpicking though. Yeah, see, it's like way too dark down here. To illuminate it with rockets. All in all, I have to say the same about this map as I've said for the others. The six, tex uh, six texture limitation didn't really seem to hinder the author uh, too much. One of my biggest fears was coming to the realization that I will have to design the map around the six texture limit and not just paint the map that I made with six textures.
Don't use them underwater. That's a nice reminder. That's a huge map. See, like, this is totally weird, but it works. I think the fact that I have the rocket launcher makes some of these encounters, like this one, much simpler than they would be otherwise. Yeah, like, if I didn't have the rocket launcher, how would I deal with this? Hmm, super well then, I guess. Oh, so I missed a big chunk of enemies. would be. The layout is definitely bizarre, but in a good way. It's like... don't know if I can make any direct comparison. It's very abstract. It's like something you'd see in Quake 1. Well, the original Quake 1 maps. I really liked it, and I think Ing is improving with it. Nice, nice, nice work. <laughs> 